Following a dismal showing in last year's 9 in 1 elections, the DPP hopes to stage a comeback in next week's legislative by-elections, in which four seats are up for grabs. Big hitters in the party have been spotted on the streets, throwing their support behind the DPP's nominees. But many party members agree that with one week before the election, the situation doesn't look promising. <laughs> Former Premier Lai Qingde is in Tainan campaigning for Guo Guowen, who is a candidate in the legislative by-elections. Lai said his campaign was running an arduous race. The DPP is on its last breath. If we're all unable to realize this, we won't be able to get behind this last breath and make it count. I think we will really struggle. As the presidential office, Executive Yuan and the ruling DPP struggle to deliver reforms that boost their public support. Kaohsiung Mayor Han Guoyu painted a bleak picture of the DPP's future. Actually, I look at the DPP and everything it is saying and doing at the moment, and I feel it is like the way the KMT was when we were on our last legs, throwing money around, enacting an endless parade of welfare policies, sending out the big hitters to help with the by-elections. So it turns out that the KMT had been throwing money around when it was on the brink of collapse. I finally understand what Han Guoyu is saying. It's true that the DPP's campaign isn't faring well, so everyone needs to work harder. In my current role as Premier, I hope to be able to eliminate public complaints. In response to Han's statement on the DPP, Su Jen Chang posted to Facebook listing in detail the work he's undertaken in his 50 days in office. This work included efforts to combat the spread of African swine fever, implementation of gay marriage legislation, and providing assistance to farmers with distributing produce. The DPP is in fact in a severe slump right now, but I can also see that everyone is fighting to the last breath, fighting tirelessly for the sake of Taiwan. DPP lawmakers said that now is the time for introspection and party reform. 